Yo, what's up guys? It's Coach Blaze and today we are going to be doing an instructional video on how to get your heart rate on Streamlabs OBS to display when you are streaming on Twitch or whatever platform you are streaming on. Oh, to your right? Yeah, right. There, left, left, left. Yeah, there. There. Oh! <laughs> Oh God, very simple steps. Uh, just follow with me along. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, also ring that bell just to make sure that you don't miss any videos that we post. Also, we stream live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, except right now during football season. So it's more likely Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Well, let's skiddly on do on down to the joke of the day. Why couldn't the green pepper practice archery? Because he didn't have an arrow. Roll the intro. The way we do that is with the following products. One of the first things we picked up is the Kuspo heart rate monitor. This was picked up on Amazon for about $24. Once you take it out, it gives you this band that goes around your chest. It fits most sizes, all sizes mostly. It fits me, which is, it, it'll pretty much fit anybody if it fits me. So when we are putting on the heart rate monitor, we first have to moisten, moisten the tips. Uh, I have a bottle of water next to me and I just put it on here. It is important that we're gonna, we're going to then snap this on. All right, we gotta keep the Kuspo logo facing up. It's for the best practices. We are then going to place this around our chest. And also, it requires the Pulsoid app that we can download from any store. Go up into the search bar and type in Pulsoid. When this comes up, I will then select the second option, this one right here. All right, here we will go to pulsoid.net. As you can see, I am already signed in. Go to my dashboard here. Once on the dashboard, you can click in. Once you click on the dashboard, you should be able to get into mobile login and keys. Here I have, I can put in my email address. And here I can put in the password where it says copy pass. This changes every time. which then allows me into the app. From here, I'm going to click my device. For this step, we'll now go to the configure tab and select this widget. Um, from here, I'm not going to touch anything along this, these areas. I like these colors, they fit with what I'm trying to do. So I'm just going to come up here and press copy. So now that this is copied, I can now go into my Streamlabs. Inside of my Streamlabs, I will now go to add a new source. In the source, I will now be going browser source. Adding that. Here I'm going to add a new source and I'm going to name this heart rate test. And add source. Here I'm going to paste that inside and press done. Now I can just resize this however I want and move it to where I would like it to be. A few tips about this is that the app does have to stay open. You cannot close the app on your phone. The heads up, that way you don't stop sharing your heart rate. So far for me, 
it has been wonderful on my stream. The battery life is forever. I've had no problems. Every once in a while, you have to adjust, you know, where it's placed at. It starts to might start to slip down a little bit. But other than that, I mean, it's a it's a wearable heart rate monitor, and for twenty four dollars, it, it it really can't be beat. I'm gonna have all the links for this stuff down in the description below. If you guys think I should do any more of these, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, remember, this is Coach Plays, and I'm out.